Everybody knows Bali is an island, but what you might not realize is that this island is pretty damn big. Today we've come up to the very northwest of the island. It's by far the least visited and there's literally nobody else around. Today's video has one goal and one goal only. To find out if it's worth visiting for you. Did not expect this. It looks like Tuscany. We have transported to Italy. Right now, we're on our way to a local village to experience some of the local cuisine. I'm really hangry, so I'm excited for this. Somebody say hangry. Sounds like you need a bang bang. Do you have a bang bang? The king size. 60 cents. 20 cents. That has to swap. No it needs a home. Oh, it's so cute. <gasps> Go. My back brake is all binded up. I don't know what to do. When we pulled over, all the smoke was coming from the back because it got so hot, it was being clamped down on, and I can feel my pedal is stuck. It's kind of inconvenient to be in the middle of nowhere. My back tire is fully locked. I think I can just move my bike, power through it. Robbie found a mechanic. Brake? Yeah. Uh, stuck. Ah, no, no release. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Just made it up to the very northern tip of Bali, and this is Tejakula. And right now, we're gonna be taking you on a very unique experience. This is Dapur Bali Mula. This isn't just any restaurant. This is an opportunity to try traditional Balinese food. It wouldn't be possible without this man right here. Chef Yudi, how are you? I'm fine. And over here is where the magic is happening. <laughs> Take the, the truck. As you can see, it's gonna be very special. So guys, this is Pablo, this is Jordi. Before we dive into the meal, there's something we gotta try first. Arak is a local distilled alcohol. Yeah. This one's actually made from uh, lonta, which is a like a sap that comes straight out of one of the palm trees. Actually really nice. Oh, it's beautiful. So this Arak has been aged Really good, I just didn't expect to have alcohol as the first thing <laughs> in my mouth in the morning. So this is kinda cool. We're actually inside of the workshop right now. They boil the palm tree syrup, it then loses its water, and that is the final syrup form. So right now we're on the north of Bali, and with that comes a big ocean and a lot of seafood. So this dish here is full of different styles of fish, barracuda, we've got a little bit of octopus, some delicious rice, and this is, so far, so, so good. For dessert, I don't even know what it is. Daluman. It's like a leaf that was mixed with water, turned into jelly. It doesn't have much flavor, but it's very jelly-y. So what a meal that was. Now, as I said before, we are right now in Tejakula, which is actually very uncommon for most people to come to. We've got an Airbnb here for the night, and uh, we'll be back here for dinner for some more Balinese food. And tomorrow, we head out west. And welcome to tonight's chateau. It's called the Ning Villa. Look at this, guys. Wow. That right there is the selling feature of this villa. Number one draw of being up north is the ocean. You are so close to it all. The villa we're staying at has this cool little rope hammock area. And right now we're watching the fishermen reel in their massive, massive net. I'm actually very curious what they're catching. So all of them pulled in. Not a whole lot. All right, freshened up. And now we're headed back to go and experience a very special dinner. If it's anywhere as good as lunch was, it's gonna be amazing. Four hours later, everybody is hungry again. So this is Bebek. It means duck and yeah. guling is like rotisserie style. You little rascals! Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that. So we have apparently about 10 to 12 courses coming out, so we're pacing ourselves. But this right here is pork knuckle mixed with, this is ura, ura. <laughs> so good. we are like five or six courses in, everyone's tapping out. Thank you guys! Lunch, dinner, I could not eat more food. If you're coming to the north, I'm telling you, this place is a hidden gem. You won't find it, there's no signs. You just gotta search this on Google Maps and let them know before you're coming if you plan to come because it's really an exceptional experience here. Good morning guys, and look at this beautiful view. So today we have a pretty long day on the bikes. We're gonna be taking you all the way to the furthest western tip of Bali, an area I've never seen before. I'm ready to go, woo! Nice. Like any road trip, 
it's not about the destination, it's often the journey. And on the way here, we came across this. Right now we are in Les, and it's so beautiful. It's this little tiny remote town. Something about it just felt like Japan, like the outskirts in the countryside. Very, very beautiful. Made some new friends while flying the drone. This is the town you'll pass through before the waterfall. And we got about another 30 minutes up that way. So 20,000 per person. Thank you. So Bali has so many waterfalls and to be honest, not all of them are made equally. And I am just as much on this mission with you to figure out if the north is a hidden gem. Are there unique spots that very few tourists are seeing or is there a reason for the lack of tourism? I have no idea what to expect from this waterfall, but I can tell you, there ain't nobody else here. Wow, she's so majestic. What a beautiful hike and I think we're almost here. Wow. Seriously. Already, I can say this is one of the most magical waterfalls on this island. It's massive, it's got this beautiful shape to it, and the best part is you're not fighting with crowds. Not only the hike here was so visually beautiful and easy, it's just so welcoming and warm. It's not intimidating. The waterfall itself is called Les Waterfall on Google Maps. The actual name is Ye Mampe, which means flying water. Absolutely epic. Mmm, breakfast is served. Bang Bang! Perfect after waterfall. The day I get sponsored by Bang Bang will actually be the best day of my life. Delicious and nutritious. Bang Bang. As we were about to leave to go find some food, Courtney comes to the parking lot and says hi. She literally lives here at the base of the waterfall. Courtney says it's the cleanest restaurant you will come across in this entire region, which is really interesting. And the reason is because we're actually right now inside of a village. In this village is actually a very famous healer. This is where many people like Courtney come to surround themselves with her. And she said a lot of the healing is done through food. This is not what you typically find at waterfalls. Normally you find cheap nasi goreng, which can be fine. We got kombucha. They have sourdough bread. I mean, I'm finding a hidden gem within a hidden gem. This restaurant sounds really good. I don't normally order salads, but wow. Everything that we've had so far has been immaculate really shows you an amazing side of Bali that you won't find anywhere. We feel so invited into this community right now. It's very beautiful. The lady cooking the food is so sweet. Incredibly talented because wow, this food is insane. This is how travel's meant to be. Let's just say there's more than meets the eye here. It's time to hit the road because we got more to show you. Oh my God. We are going up so, so quickly. It is like a straight up hill. This trail we're taking, we're gonna have to turn around soon. It's just getting hectic. Hello! Woo. Okay, that was really scary. Can you hop off for a sec? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Are you okay, baby? Okay, okay, no, this is bad. Every road trip, you're gonna have a moment where you get caught in the rain, you just gotta wait it out. I'm starting to feel really tired on this trip. You know what? I got a bang bang. So we have now began heading across the entire northwest. We just went through Lovina. Lovina is where you can swim with the dolphins, which during the low season can be cool. During busy season is a nightmare. But this is not a hidden gem. People know about Lovina, so we're gonna keep moving. On the bright side, we don't need any sunblock. You get it? Because it's raining. Getting in, 20,000 per person. It's like a dollar fifty. And we literally have a private pool today. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite excited about this one. Yeah. It's just like a giant bath. And anyone who knows me knows I love a bath. So this hot spring is actually naturally occurring. And if you're wondering why it looks like your dad forgot to put in the pool chemicals, it's actually because this is all sulfur. So you get that yellowish hue, it smells a little bit like rotten eggs. But it's just a reminder that this island is literally an island of volcanoes. And right now, I feel her warm embrace. I like it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? This is one of the least smelly sulfur pools I've ever been to. <laughs> Your tan line. No. I can't go as far as saying this is a hidden gem. Of the itinerary today, this is probably the least hidden. But out of all the hot springs on the island, this is probably the least frequented. And a day like today, we basically have the entire thing to ourselves. Any words of wisdom? YouTube. 
Subscriber, two billion! <laughs> yeah, I still got it. <laughs> so right now we're risking missing sunset at the main reason we're going this way, which is the upcoming rice field, but I saw the sunset going off in the distance and it was just so beautiful. I had to at least get one drone shot of it. Today has been like newfound appreciation for this lesser known side of the island. It's only the first half of our trip. Absolutely incredible. The mountains are so undiscovered. Here we are in Busung View looking for the rice field. Don't just follow these set points. Just go out there with your bike and explore because it's just friendly smiling faces everywhere. So far I think every scenario that we've been kind of Put through has been quite spectacular but it's definitely been quite the ride and i totally recommend you guys to explore this side if you want more of a realistic and authentic side of bali because there's not as much tourism we got about an hour and a half to go to get to the restaurant we're gonna take you tonight hopefully we don't catch any rain i'm done with that Today has been a lot of time on the motorbike. We didn't take the streamlined way, we took the most scenic, incredible way and I wouldn't have changed anything about it. We're now here at Plataran. This is right on the ocean. If we were here two hours ago, sunset would have been right there. We're ending it off with some really special food here. Mm. Oh my god. To get to this restaurant, you have to enter a hotel. For 15 minutes, we were driving on their own private grounds and we actually saw a deer and it scurried off into the forest. So maybe that's a little preview of what's to come in the next video. Surf and turf, ice cream, cake, and it's time to end the night. Munjan Hill is the name of the place we're staying tonight. So it's like these cottages up in the hills here. And this is like 25 for the night. I'm just tired. It's been so long. And my stupid poncho has holes in it. And I'm wet. And I'm stinky like sulfur. And this backpack it won't come off of me. I'm tired. And we're going to get less than five hours of sleep. Teeth are brushed. Feet are clean. Hopefully, we're getting five hours of sleep. And guys, this is just part one of trying to figure out if the north is a hidden gem. We still got a whole other day of adventure and you'll have to wait for that one in the next video. Let's get lost again in the next one.